Hi and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of text to speech. So let me show you guys how this text to speech works. There Video we, provides a powerful way to help you prove your we point. Can pause. We can also resume. When you click online video, you can paste in the embed code for the video. Please exit. confirm if you want to exit. There we go. If you say no, the reader will start all over. Video provides a powerful way to help. There. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp development environment. I will put one of these together. So let's do that now, guys. Please confirm if you want to exit. Okay. And close this. Let's start a new project. Click on new. I will select C Sharp. Windows Forms application. Make sure that is selected. Click on Next. And let's give our project name. I'm going to call it CS Text to Speech. There we go. Click on Create. Okay, now my form is ready. Let me go straight to the toolbox and I'm going to add. The rich text box so right here there and let's change the size of the rich text box that much let's place the center that is fine and underneath here I'm gonna add four buttons okay I'm gonna copy that very button just Paste it right there, hold on to the control, click and drag. We have two and four there. Okay, let's enhance the look of everything. I'm gonna come in here, grab the text, and just paste it right there. This text, I'm gonna type in text to speech. And this button is going to be known as exit. And let's just this will be known as resume. We have pause here, and that will be speak. There we go. Right. So let's give them a name. This is going to be known as. RT speak and there there we go you see this uh, text in there let me change the font size I'm going to change it to 48 there okay maybe we should even change it to barcode font let's come in here and grab a barcode font there so you guys should be able to install your own back of fonts. I think maybe I will set it for this. There we go. That's fine. And that's it. So the next thing I want to do now is I need to actually add a reference. So let's go to the project. Click on the project. And in here we need to click on add reference. And once you click on the add reference, it's either you scroll right down to look for the system speech or you can just search for the speech itself. That is it right here. Okay. If you can't be bothered, just type in speech right there and click on OK. Make sure it's checked. And you then click on OK. There we go. Now, let's come straight down to the coding area. Double click on the form. To open up the form there let's go right up here and right on the naming space I'm going to enter in there using system dot speech dot there we go that's it there and right underneath here I'm going to Enter in there speech synthesizer. Let's give that a name. 
I'm just gonna call it SAP speech app okay that's fine I'm gonna say equals new speech synthesizer enter a coil braces and just enter semicolon and that is it done okay I'm going to start with the speak button double click on the speak button and right in there I'm going to use an if statement if RT speak dot text if it's not empty there and I'm gonna come out here enter coil braces and I want my object sap equals new speech synthesizer there we go and sap I want stop to do as follows dot speak there and where is the data from the data is going to be from the RT dot text and that is it done okay if you try this out it's gonna work right away so let me see just run it and see and there we go so let's add something in there I can speak so let's run that and see I can speak thank you now end that but guess what supposing there's nothing in there so let's use an else statement if there's nothing inside that very text or rich text box what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask the rich text box to, uh, to say as follows please enter a text in there and I also want you to read it out so we we'll say equals open up all the brackets and just enter please enter some text there and that now the other thing we need to do is let's get all of these so that he's going to read it out for us there we go and at the same time I would like you to just delay before this read out that is um, a wait a wait is called close this a wait tags dots delay I'm gonna make that maybe about two seconds yeah that's two seconds there I'm having an error because I'm meant to add one of the methods straight into the into the system okay supposing since there's nothing in there we can say RT speak dot play whatever we have in there and we want you to set focus so that you can add whatever you want to add dot focus add parenthesis all right that is that taken care of so let's take care of this error here you see we just need to come straight to the procedural area here so all we need to add is a sink there and this error should disappear now there we go look at the error gone so let's run it and see run it. so I'm gonna run the program without anything in there so let's click on speak please enter some text see that two seconds later that disappears please enter some text you see that so that's very nice see that guys that's a nice one okay now let's take care of pause with the pause I'm just going to use conditional statement as well if dot state of it okay if sap but the space equals synthesizer synthesizer state dot speaking dot speaking there we go that's it and come right down here 
not curly braces. What do we want it to do? We want sap dot pause dot pause parentheses there. That takes care of the pause. Now let's take care of resume. So right here with the resume, let's use an if statement again. If sap is not equals no there and if sap dot states is paused let's say dot state is paused grab all of that paste it here equals equals dots paused Now we want sap dot resume. There we go. So those three buttons are taken care of. Run. So let's look for some text in here. I'm just gonna grab something here. So we'll grab that and just paste it in there. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. Pause. Resume. When you click online video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. You can also type a key. Let's take care of exit. With the exit, we need to confirm if you want to stop or if you want to continue or whatever. So let's go straight to the exit in here. So with the exit, I'm going to enter as follows. So let me show you guys this. That is the resume. This is the pause. Okay, double click on exit. So with the exit, you say dialog results. I exit there. And let's enter I exit equals message box dot show. And in there, we can just say please confirm. Confirm if you want to exit. Now, come out of it and let's enter the title of our project text to speech and enter the second argument, the third argument actually. So that is going to be message box button dot yes or no. Dot yes or no. The fourth argument is going to be message box button dot icon i'm going to make the icon an information one there we go enter semicolon there and now come right here and just use an if statement if i exit equals equals dialog result if you notice i'm using double equals because it's comparing the value we have in here dot yes in that case, we want the application dot exit. Application dot exit. There. And that's it. However, supposing the condition is false, else. If the condition is false, I would like you to read out everything that we have in here. Let's come in here. I'm going to grab. Let's grab this. Grab all of this. This very one here. If the condition is false, grab all of this. And I'm going to paste that right inside here. There. Okay, I'm also going to copy this, copy everything in there, and let's just paste that up here. I'm just trying to make it 
be more user friendly so let's copy all of this confirm if you want to exit so that sap you can read that to us as well is that right in there there and one other thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add delay here well first of all let's run it first then we just take it from there so let's grab some data paste that in here video provides a powerful way to help you please confirm if you want to exit when you click online video you can paste in the embed video code for the video you want to help you okay i want the system to be able to terminate that so instead of repeating it all over let's go back in here where it is yeah, I'm gonna grab this, give it two seconds, that's fine. Double click on here and just paste that right in here. There. Okay, and we also need to add awesome there, right there. Good. That takes care of that error. If you guys noticed the other time it was actually speaking over itself so let me show you guys what I'm talking of then I paste some text in there now run oh, let's run. paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. please confirm if you want you can to also exit. type a keyword to search online for the video the embed code for the video you want to add. please to make your document what we need to do is I'm going to come in there and just say sap dot dispose oh, oh let me do that again dot dispose there we go dispose the very first statement and that should take care of that very one okay and that is my exit guys have a good look at it from here all the way down here that is the exit now run so we enter some data in there now let's grab all of these and paste it right in there read video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point Pause. when you click online video you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to please confirm if you want to exit see that guys it's not reading over itself anymore if I say no, it will, con it will start the reading all over again. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. Okay. When you click online, please confirm if you want to exit. So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this lovely tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. There are a lot of benefits if you're a member. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now. Video provides a powerful way to help